Hello, it's Mardax here and welcome to the time to know. We're gonna today learn about Everspace, the game about space. But not entirely. When I started the game for the first time it was... <sighs> Just look at this. It's really beautiful. This planets, rocks and entire space look so great and even after 40 hours still I think game is so pretty. But in other hands, the sector we get to discover are not static, so with every play we're gonna check new places. There are some types of rocks, meteors, anomalies, planets, etc. and game mix them every time we're gonna go to adventure. After 10, maybe 15 hours of the game you pretty know most of them. So it's like, hey I saw these rocks before. But after 20 times when you see them it's like, oh, it's you again. Because game from the beginning gives you feeling that there is so much things to discover, which I like it a lot. But after a few gameplays you realize there is uh, lots of things, but not that much. I understand what is the problem of that, so I'm not gonna be upset about this. Game is really nice looking, gives you much to discover and gives you option to find your best rig to fight. And strategy for this fight. Because this game is not about exploring the space, it's about to help our hero Adam to discover his story. And to help us understand what's going on and how our character, when dies, gonna back to live again and again. More flotsam. Or, uh, get some. It's like space battle simulator roguelike, cause you're gonna fight in space a lot. Often with small spaceships or drones, but sometimes you're gonna know when shit just got real. You have a variety of weapons to choose but you need to find them or create them from the fighter blueprints. Also, it's few types of rockets and good using them is important to survive. That's Sometimes you I don't mean. gonna need them, but in other situations use them. That's the part of our strategy, so go and discover it. Gameplay is so nice and when you're gonna wipe out enemies with a special perk which other enemies not gonna come after you, you have time to relax. I think it's important cause not always you're gonna have hard battles, but even after smell action you get a time to get relaxed, which gives you a pause from action. Additionally dialogues between Adam and our friend in game computer program can help us get this relaxing feeling or love. One time I had to fight 6 spaceships at once and I had really low life, I managed to defeat them and Adam went with something like, oh it was really close. And program said, yeah, but it isn't getting bored. It makes me a little smile. Other thing you need to know is that our spaceship has a lot of modules, and in battle or when we hit something, we have a possibility to get damage. Some of them requires from us to repair them, which costs some goods. Later we have option to repair our ship in special stations. Not repairing them cause problem with steering, navigation or shield. And after that, we can be in real trouble when we meet foes. After all that, we lose all equipment, but not the credits. Credits help us to buy some upgrades for our spaceship, which is important to make progress in game. Grab the credits, a lot of them. In overall, I think this game is really good stuff. You should definitely play. Some stuff should be added, like more variety sectors, but it's a good game. And if you like space dynamic battles, it's especially for you. Okay. That's all folks, write the comments below what you think about video and game or check the description to buy it. See you soon, bye! Oh,